How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back on another video. We're here in the Mini Barn Dominium. Uh, Kevin just had a birthday not long ago. Julie picked me up a few new tools and one of them was this DeWalt. Uh, it's a DeWalt uh, jigsaw. It's a DW331K. So we're going to open this thing up because we got to do a little bit of cutting on this countertop. We don't like cutting on the countertop. We still got to cut our drain or our sinkhole out. So we're going to get this guy opened up and take a look at it. I haven't even opened it up and it's probably had it for what, two weeks now? Yeah. So Perfect opportunity. <laughs> yeah. So I have an old jigsaw, which I'll donate to one of my kids. Uh, but it never wants to cut a straight line and I don't understand why. It's an old Ryobi one. So Julie got me a good one here. So we're going to go ahead and get it opened up and see what comes with. And I'll try it out. You know what's worse than a uh, sharp carpenter knife? A dull one. <laughs> you gotta push that much harder. Oh, uh, what guy doesn't like getting new tools? One thing about it, this guy is heavy. Some people don't because it means work. <laughs> yeah. No, I love them. This is a pretty awesome jigsaw. These things are heavy duty. Uh, these jigsaws from DeWalt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the manual out. I'm going to look over this thing a little bit and see what I can tell you about it. Because I know absolutely nothing about this saw. It's the first time I've opened it up. But we are going to be using it. We're going to go over a few parts on this uh, saw. Um, I had to go over and look at it myself to make sure I know exactly what I'm telling you is true. They're correct. So we have right here, we have three. There's actually four spots for orbitable blade. And what they mean by orbitable is your blade will, when you put it in there, it will go back and forth this way. And you can make it just with no orbitable, that would be just straight up and down, and then you would go the next step, it would go a little bit, and then uh, the next step, it would go a little more. And that makes for actually a faster cut. Uh, so you have four different uh, slots for that. You've got zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so we're gonna leave that off. One nice thing about this thing, if you wanna change the blade, it's not very hard, all you have to do is there is this little lever right here in the front open that up slide your blade down in there and guess what we're good to go simple fast and easy no allen keys needed so we're going to take that blade back out actually i put that blade in upside down do you see that it'll work fine then. okay here we go okay on this side of the machine right here you'll see a little arrow and a it looks like a cloud. What that is, that's for air. That's to blow the dust away from your workpiece. That's this piece here. And you can go from low to high on that or anywhere in between wherever you choose. Now, this saw will actually do uh, uh, different cuts too, angles. You have right here on the side, you can see it'll say zero right in here. If you take this lever, flip it over, push that up, you can turn the body so you can cut in a 45 or 15 degree angle or 30 degree. It says 30, it'll go 0, 15, 30, and 45. Right there, you can see it. So when you come back to your 90 degree mark, turn it up, pull that bad boy back into slot, and then lock this piece right here. That's just your locking lever right here. All right, now one of the reasons why I wanted to use this saw on the countertops is it does have a pan here that won't scratch my countertops. So we're still gonna put tape down on the countertops just to make sure we can get our mark right, but this is pretty nice. And it also has a Anti-splinter. Yeah, anti-splinter. And that's this little plastic thing right here. 
And uh, I was sitting here trying to figure out how to put this thing in and I did it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, now your little anti-splinter thing. This is confusing and I can't really get it and I will never understand how this thing will stay into place. <laughs> There's two places it can go. There's one right there and it sets in there like that. Now, yeah, I'm not so sure that's going to stay there when the jigsaw is running, but I guess it's supposed to. And then there's one more little slot and it's down even further in here and I can't get it on with the cover but that might be if you wasn't using the cover you could slide this thing into here. It's a pain in the butt getting it in there but if it didn't splinter up your project or wood it would be nice. So then it would set like that. Uh, but like I said, I can't see how that's going to work. But we're going to give it a try when we do our uh, sink hole. we got to cut the hole in the sink and the countertop for the sink. And then we'll, uh, we'll use this cover. We'll have to mount it on this. But there's two places it'll go. One right there and one in the cover. So if you didn't want to scratch your counter up, we put this one on. This piece here, and then we would mount it in this piece up here. Like I said, it's a little bit hard getting it in there, but that's how we would mount it for the cover. So there's two ways you can put the anti-splinter piece on. That's probably something I'm going to lose, uh, but one thing is nice. It came with a case, and the case, as long as you keep everything in your case, it seems to be there when you need it. Now, mind you, they don't give you no saw blades with this tool when you buy it. So you might want to pick up some saw blades while you're out. That way you have some blades to use your saw. So we're going to give this thing a try. We're going to cut the corner of the cabinet or the corner of the countertop. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give it a try and we're going to see how it does. This will be the first time using the new saw. All right, when I ordered these countertops, they were supposed to be right well. We need about a quarter of an inch off of this guy right here. And we're gonna give it a try. Uh, hopefully everything's gonna work out. Me, fingers. Yeah. We do have variable speed on this thing too. Uh, the trigger right here. You can turn that for variable speed for faster or slower. We're just gonna take our time and we'll put it on one. And we put the tape on just for yeah. extra protection. Hopefully the tape will help out from coming up. Now I don't want to go all the way down to that line, but I'm going to take as much as I can off and then we'll get the sander and we'll finish it with the sander. We need the dust control up high. We're going to turn our speed up now. Closer. Boy, <laughs> smooth, real smooth. What's nice is the variable speed. I can actually control that as I'm cutting. And the dust, dust thing worked really well. Nice, yeah. I know yeah. You've complained about that old one every time. Every time you use it. Yeah, because so. it seems like when I'm cutting with the old one, the blade kind of bends Bend. or something. Yeah. I I don't know maybe it, I don't know but anyhow nice smooth action with that bad boy yeah that's gonna be nice when we go to cut out our sink top yeah okay I think the dust collector the faster you use it the faster you got it going the more it blows the dust so I had a hard time seeing the line but we came right to the edge of the line right there we're okay and I'll take a sandpaper and finish this I'll just use a, a sander and we'll sand this off 
One nice thing is it didn't splinter. That splinter thing actually worked, but it didn't splinter. Kind of nice smooth cut, huh? Yeah, it did a really nice smooth cut. All right, that's the DW331 jigsaw. This is a pretty awesome saw. You've seen it cut there. That's a small cut compared to what we're going to have to do here in the near future because I got to cut out the sink hole. Actually, when we ordered the cabinets, it was supposed to be cut out. They didn't cut it out. So, and I sure wasn't going to use that old Ryobi saw. That thing doesn't cut straight. Trust me. I have been yelling about that for years and Julie figured, well, it was my birthday and she picked me up a good saw. Do I not have a great wife? She takes care of me. <laughs> she loves me working tools. She gives me tools because she wants me to fix things. So, and that's okay because I enjoy the tools. We'll use this thing for a while and then we'll do a review video on it just to let you know how everything is holding up and if we find out any new features to it. Because you know us guys, we never go through the manual. The first thing we ought to be doing is looking at the manual. Now, what I do is I give Julie the papers. Hey, honey, let me know how this works. And she goes over everything. But the best thing to do is get your manual out and look it over great and then you'll figure out exactly how your machine works. Uh, the little splinter thing, I think that thing's going to work out pretty great. Uh, the only thing is, is when I took it out of there and I set it down on the counter, guess what fell out? It fell out on its own. Like I said, we'll probably lose it, but we'll try to keep it in the box. Handy box. I love the little case because then you can put your saw blades in there, your saw, everything's together. When you need to cut something, grab it and go. So. I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.